What's up, everybody? Coach Justin at Elite Edge Waukee, and I wanted to get you guys a video of the five top mistakes that I see with uh, people going to the gym, whether it's this gym, uh, people on social media posting things. I uh, just wanted to kind of address a big ballpark of it. Now, this is my opinion, so be nice. Covering a broad range of things. Now, number one, uh, when you are actually at the gym, poor form. This could be never truly learning the correct technique, not asking for assistance if you have somebody there that's able to help you, and then continue to do things over and over and over. And if you are performing squats and getting heavier and you have a poor base, poor fundamentals, that is when injuries occur. Uh, so making sure that you correct that form, everything from the feet all the way up, body is one big chain, any unbroken chain is where those injuries tend to happen. Two, Skipping warm-up and cool-down, it kind of links back to this. If you are not stretching properly, a lot of times your form, your range of motion is going to lack, so they kind of tie together. But if you're not stretching beforehand, warming up the muscles, you're gonna have a less effective workout. And if you allow yourself to uh, run out after the workout without stretching, which I know we have some people here that do, shame, uh, never really going to maximize, get that blood flow to the muscle and see the improvements you want to see. Three is going to be choosing the wrong weights. This is something that goes both ways, whether you're picking too light and just kind of going through the motions, uh, not really maximizing, wasting your time actually is what you're doing if you're doing if you're not choosing an appropriate weight, uh, but also if you're going too heavy and your form falls off because of it. We wanna make sure it is correct. Build that strength up the right way. Uh, so one, you don't hurt yourself, uh, but if you're picking too light of weight, you're not gonna get that caloric burn that you're looking to get not gonna get that uh, muscular uh, build that you're looking to see as well. So make sure we are trying to find the appropriate weight for the appropriate rep ranges. Four, this is one that I really hate, uh, no pain, no gain, pushing through those injuries. There's a difference between being hurt and being injured. Now, if you are actually injured and something is bothering you and you continue to do it over and over and over, that is going to lead to time actually away from the gym because you can't come in. So rehab, stretch, do what you need to do to get yourself right so you can get back and not have pain on the movements. You should not be feeling pain in your back on squats or deadlifts. You should not be feeling it in your knees. Um, there's people way, way older than myself, 80 year olds who are able to do this stuff with correct form. So focusing on that. And the fifth one uh, is quitting too soon when you're starting a new program. A lot of people get discouraged. Patience is the biggest thing. Uh, there is, no matter how you see it, no real end goal when it comes to your fitness. Life is long, you can continue to improve and get better as time goes on. So whether you see weight loss in the first week, the first month or not, there's another month. There's another week coming after that. So staying at it, uh, staying consistent, and you're going to see the results at the end of the day. So guys, if you like this, go ahead, like, comment, uh, share, help us out here at the gym, uh, and let us know what you would like to see next. Uh, these are my top five mistakes that people make at the gym. Have an awesome day, everybody.